Hello everyone, and today I'll be showing you how to install the Zelda Sword Skills mod for Minecraft 1.7.10. So the link's going to be in the description as always, and let's open up the web browser, which in my case is Oprah. But I do not enjoy Oprah in any way. Doesn't matter though, nothing to do with the topic. Alright, Zelda Skills, here we go. Scroll down till you see the download link for 1.7.10. If you want to download it for 1.6.4, go ahead. It's right there. Alright, uh, we're going to click that link right now. Click it. Okay. Wait three seconds. You're going to wait those three seconds, please. Alright, it's going to download the mod since I already have it on my desktop. I mean, I can leave it there, but whatever. Alright, then you're going to go over here to files.micro4.net where you're going to find 1.7.10, the recommended version. Forge. I'm gonna go over and click the installer. If you wanna get it for 1.6.4, get it for the 1.6.4 version instead. It's the same way. Uh, this installation is the same for 1.6.4, so if you wanna install for 1.6.4, you can install for 1.6.4. Okay, no. Mm, let me refresh, maybe see if this shows up now. Well, anyhow, you're just gonna click skip add and you're gonna download it, and then it's gonna give you a forge file. And that I already have on my desktop as well. Okay, so I have already run Minecraft once, and you're gonna have to do that too. Uh, you're gonna have to run Minecraft at least once with the Forge, like with a version 1.7.10 for it to work. So go ahead and do that if you haven't already. And then you're gonna double click the Forge.jar and click Install Client, and then click OK. It's gonna extract the files to your .minecraft folder, which we'll get into later. OK, into Minecraft, open it up. And, uh, well, now we're gonna test if Forge works before installing anything. Let's just go ahead and click Forge and click the play button. Now, if you don't do this step and you had never used Forge before, you will not have something called a mods folder. And that is required for you to have a mods folder so you can put in the mod in there. Without a mods folder, you don't got no mod. Get it, the capiche? Okay. Right, now, back. Back onto this, just wait for it to load and I'll tell you if it works in a second. <coughs> <sighs> Alright, it went full screen. There you go, sorry guys. Uh, three mods loaded, the three mods active, which is not the mod installed, it's just a basic forge stuff. Shit, this nuts heck. Alright, quick game. And go into your app data, which is. Well, I made a shortcut on my desktop, but you can just type in percent app data percent anywhere, like over here or over there, and then you'll get there. Okay, so just open up your Minecraft, and you'll find a thing called a mods folder now. Convenient, right? So this, the 1.7.10 source codes 2.2.3.jar, will go in there. That's pretty simple, right? You can do that with any other mod if you want, you know, it works pretty much the same any like with any other mod and uh, exactly the same way for 1.6.4. And uh, well, let's just go in game and I'll prove you right now that a mod is active and ready to use. Now, I should have told you in the beginning of the video, but um, the Zelda Sword Skills mod or whatever, whatever, uh, it's called, uh, it's called, <laughs> um, allows you to have sword skills and it gives you the ability to have Zelda items in Minecraft alright that's pretty cool right you have like a bombs and s like there's a boss in the nether there's some mobs you can fight it doesn't stop going full screen for god's sake alright um, and there's a lot of fun stuff you can do just trying it out yourself you know I'll go in game in a sec when I switch over to fraps but right now let me show you that mods here it is Zelda sword skills Mods, whatever. Here's the description, here's the picture, it works, alright? Now I'm gonna switch over to my freps so I can actually record gameplay without having 25 FPS. Um, so give me a sec, guys. Alright guys, we're in game now, as you can see right here. And, uh, well, these are some shits. You start with the Lynx House thing. Requires 7 by 8, okay. So with this, you can uh, spawn a house. Let's see if I can find a house, a flat area here. And maybe this is good enough. Just break some blocks. Okay. There it 
There you go, Link's house. Links. 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 Whatever. Link's house. There it is. You got a bed and a pressure plate. Chip. That look like um sword. All right, this is a technique, a small key. You can use this key to unlock some chests that you find across the map. Now let me show you something real cool here, which I always loved. It's the uh, the boomerang. Let me get a, a mob from the game. Might as well show you that. Let's get a thunder keys. All right. Let's, uh, what's this guy? All right, not expecting that, huh? Thunder Wizrobe sounds like a badass mob, right? Let's, oh yeah, there you go, there you go. It's uh, thunder. Wizrobe. All right, it's over there. Okay, Let's fucking kill. Oh, my kills. Oh, Emma. Oh, whoa, 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 mate. Come on now. Ah, goddamn Thunder Wizrobe. Oh, these are all teleport. All right. Uh, let's change the plans, let's spawn a blue chew. Blue chew. Not the time, I want to go chop. Oh, hey. Oh, wait. Oh, ha. Oh, a blue chew is that. Oh. Quacha chew. Oh, yeah. Ha. Oh. Yeah. Oh, baby, Fuck the it's chew. triple. Fuck the chew. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, well. It's pretty cool, as you can see. Oh, the, the world generation is pretty cool. Huh? Uh, I can drop all this. Oh yeah, you start with some armor apparently. The cockery hat and the tunic on the boots and everything you need uh, to survive. There you go. And well, that's pretty much it for this mod. If you have any other questions on how to install any other mod, or if you would like to make a, if you like me to make a mod review on any other mod. Or anything else at all, just feel free to leave a suggestion in the comments, always help me out. And, uh, well, that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And in terms of rating, you can rate a whatever you want, as long as you leave a comment uh, down below, leaving why you leave, leave that rating. Like, so I can improve better and, you know, live a better life, guys. Bye-bye! <laughs>